Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this lesson, we're going to talk about list templates in Hugo. List templates are one of the types of templates in Hugo, and they act as a template for list pages. Right now, I just have a, a very simple Hugo website set up. You'll notice that inside this content folder, I have an a.markdown file, and I have an index.markdown file, and then I have a directory dir1, and inside here, I have an index.markdown file and a b.markdown file. Now, these are just some basic pages, and now I just want to point out these underscore index.md files, these are the list pages in our site. So whenever we create a list page for our website, either Hugo creates it automatically for us, or you override an existing list template with this underscore index.md file. So if we head over to our website in the browser, you'll notice that we're here on the home page and it's a list template and it basically just uh, lists out all of the pages on our website. If I was to come up here and go to forward slash dir1, this would list out all of the pages in directory one, which is just that B markdown file. So when we're talking about list templates, we're talking about the template that these list files use. So, you know, the template for this directory one file is, you know, you see there's like a header up here and it's like, there's this uh, navigational card here in the middle and then there's a footer. And this is the template that's like wrapping this list content. And you can actually see the list template that's currently being used. In my case, I'm using this theme, uh, GA Hugo theme. This is the theme that we've been using throughout this course. And if I click down and I go into layouts and I go inside this default folder, you'll see here there's a file called list.html. And this is the actual list template that's being used. And so you can see there's a bunch of HTML code in here and it's doing all sorts of stuff. And so whatever code is inside of this list.html file, that's the code that's being displayed here. And so if you wanna, so the question becomes like, what happens when you don't wanna use the list file inside of a theme? Or what happens if you just wanna create your own list template without using a theme at all? Well, you can actually create your own custom list template. And if you are using a theme, that newly created list template will override the one inside of the theme. And so the way that we do that is you come into this layouts folder right here, and I'm just gonna right click and I'm gonna click new folder. And I wanna create a folder called underscore default. And it's very important that you name it exactly like that. Once you have this new underscore default folder created, I'm gonna make a new file inside of it. And this is gonna be called list.html, okay? It's important that you make this an HTML file. And so, Basically, the layout is this layouts folder, then this underscore default folder, and we have this list.html folder. So by default, any list pages in Hugo are gonna use this template to display themselves. And so this is this list.html template is, is initially blank, so um, we're gonna put some stuff in here. I'm just gonna type out a basic HTML outline, you can see right here. And inside, I'm just gonna put some text, right? Just some, some basic text. Now let's head over to our actual website and see what happens. And so you'll see that I'm on this directory one page, right? This is a list page. I can also go to the home page and you'll see that both of those pages just have some text in them, right? The list of uh, markdown files is completely gone. All of that's gone. And now we just have some text. What's interesting though, is if I come over here to directory one and I go to that uh, B file, it's still displaying like it was before. It's still displaying with this template. And that's because we're only modifying the list template. We're not modifying the single template. Because we modified the list template, now we only see this text. And so creating your own list template is actually that easy. Now, once we get inside of here, there's a couple things that we want to do. And the first is we want to be able to display the content that's in these markdown files, right? So I have this index.md markdown file here, and I have this index.md markdown file here. And you're gonna notice that inside, they have some text, right? This one says, this is the landing page for Dura one and this one says, this is the home page. So how can we display the content that's inside of those markdown files inside of this list template, right? Because right now, it's not displaying any of that content. Well, the way that we do that is by accessing a Hugo variable. And I'm gonna make an entire video talking just about variables, but for now, just know that a variable is like a value that's stored about the page. I can type uh, two open and closed curly brackets, and then I wanna type dot and then content with a capital C. 
I'm gonna save this file and we'll go back over to the web browser. Oops. And we'll go back over to the web browser and you'll notice that instead of just saying some text, now it's giving us the content of those files. So if I go to the home page, you'll notice that it says this is the home page. And so anything that I update inside of here, like if I just put some random text down here and I save, it'll get updated inside of this file. Okay, so now we're grabbing all of the content that's inside of that file. Now, list files serve a very specific purpose though, and usually the point of the list file is to list out all of the content that's available. And so how can we do that, right? We're showing the content that's in the underscore index.markdown files, but how can we like show all of the pages like it was before? Well, we can use something called a Hugo function. And again, I'm gonna make an entire video talking solely about functions. And so if you don't fully understand, you know, how all of this is working right now, you can check out that video. But in order to, um, in order to loop through, in order to display all of the pages inside of uh, the website, we need to use a special function called range. And you're just gonna type out two open and close curly brackets range, and then you wanna type dot pages. And basically what this is saying is I wanna range over all of the pages in this section of the website. So this is what's called an opening tag and we need a closing tag. If you're familiar with programming, this is basically a, a for each loop or a for loop. Inside of here, we can access page variables for each page in the site. So I can type out dot title. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna range through all of the pages and for each page, it's gonna print out the title of the page. And I'm just gonna put a break in here so it's a little bit easier to see. So now when we head back over to our website, you'll notice that in this directory one page, it's listing out B, right? B is the only page inside of directory one. If we go back to the home page, you'll notice that it's listing out B and A, and that's because B and A are the only two pages in the site. And so by using this range function, we can print out and we can loop through all of the pages in the site. Now, we can also get a little bit fancier with this. We can use another variable called .url. And URL is gonna give us the URL location of each page. So now instead of listing out the titles, it's listing out the URL locations, okay? And we can use those two variables, that .title variable and that .url variable, and when we can create a navigation menu. So I can create an unordered list, and then I'm gonna make a list item inside of it, and then inside of that list item, I'm gonna make a link. And so you can see that whole structure is set up here. Now inside of this link, for the href, which is just the location of the page we wanna to go to, I'm gonna put in these two curly brackets, dot URL. And you can use these curly brackets inside of parentheses, um, and it's gonna render just fine. And so basically what I'm doing is I'm putting the URL of the page inside of the href, and then inside of this link title, I'm just gonna put dot title, okay? Now, when we head back over to our browser, you're gonna see that we have a navigation menu. And so if I click on this B, it's gonna bring me to the B page. If I click on this A, it's gonna bring me to the A page. And so this is you know, basically what you wanna do for uh, list templates, is we wanna use this range function to range through all of the pages in the current section. Now, there are more variables than just dot URL and dot title. And like I said, there's an entire Draft Academy video solely dedicated to variables and how to use them and what they are and how it works. But for now, just know that you can use these two variables. And, and in fact, you can use other variables inside of this range function in order to build navigation items just like this one. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you wanna help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.